Joe Biden's Build Back Better Act offers two years of free community college to any American who can you know, qualify to go to college, uh, a- as well as trade schools. Uh, child care and universal pre-K for three and four year olds. Uh, expands Medicare so that seniors can now get uh, dental and vision and hearing aids. Extends the child tax credit that is law right now that has literally cut childhood poverty in the United States in half. Would c- cut prescription drug prices would offer paid family and medical leave like every other developed country in the world has, would address climate change substantially, and uh, there's a few other provisions, and would be exclusively paid for by raising the taxes on people earning over $400,000 a year in giant corporations to a point where they wouldn't even be as high as they were when Donald Trump came into office. So Joe Manchin then comes out and says, I cannot accept our economy, or basically our society, moving toward an entitlement mentality. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but I do know that that's a conservative talking point, and I'm so happy to have my buddy Julio Rivera, the editorial director at Reactionary Times, contributor at Newsmax, American Thinker, and townhall.com, and on Twitter, oh yeah, it's Julio, is his Twitter handle, Uh, back on the line with us. Uh, Julio, what what is he talking about, entitlement mentality? What part of this program is is uh, taking us down the road to Soviet socialism. Well, you just pointed out one of the, the bigger ones. You know, you're talking about two years of free community college, uh, the so-called human infrastructure. You're talking about uh, universal daycare and, and a lot of these other provisional things that are inside this. Basically, what uh, Manchin is, uh, is and, I, and I agree with him 100 percent, is creating a dangerous precedent in America. And this is a road that we've been going down uh, really heavily ever since the coronavirus pandemic. You know, a lot of people lost their jobs. Then they were subsidized not only with unemployment benefits, but uh, in a lot of instances, a lot of states were giving out an additional $600. So in a, for a lot of people, they were making more money unemployed than they were making working. And now we have a crisis where we have a lot of businesses that want to hire people, but people have gotten so used to not working and collecting unemployment, and a lot of these additional benefits have extended in some states. I know New Jersey, where they have the off-year election, you know, Bill Murphy has tried to extend additional benefits as long as he could in an effort to try to steal but the election. none of that is part of the Build Back Better program, uh, Julio. I, no, first of all, by the way, if you could put your microphone uh, just a little closer to your mouth, it still sounds like, you know, you're, okay. you're talking to us in an echo chamber. Uh, just hold it right up to your mouth. Um, but uh, none of that stuff, you know, there's no extension of $600 a month uh, in or, or a I week or whatever, that. you know, in this build, build Back Better bill. It's kind of a red herring. I mean, it, what is, why does two years of free community college when every other developed world in the or country in the world, including Costa Rica, offers free college all the way up to a PhD um, uh, to everybody in the country, why does that? How, do, how does that cause people to not want to go to work? I think having a better Listen, educated workforce is a good thing. Everybody has an opportunity for an education in the United States of America. You can take out student loans if you can't afford it straight up. But there's other things that are dangerous. You know, like uh, Joe Biden, right, as soon as he went into office, one thing about the Build Better uh, Back plan, filled with subsidies for so-called green energy companies. He immediately comes in, kills the Keystone Pipeline, destroys thousands of jobs. You know, he lifts sanctions on Russia. Now they've gone ahead and they're building this Nord Stream Pipeline. Uh, He's begging OPEC. What does this have to do with two years of free community college? But that's why what? get the community college. You can sit there and you can fight on the community college issue. Or expanding Medicare. The Build Back Better plan is terrible for America. Look at the inflation, the runaway spending that we've been having. One thing, listen, and, and the framers were very smart, you know, uh, incredible, genius men. They created this great experiment. Benjamin Franklin himself said, once people realize that they can vote themselves money, that will herald the end of the republic and i think that but franklin never it. actually said that that's a uh, yes, what, what did, and i have is. the quote and i looked it up before so don't try to throw me off listen one thing i'm going to give you credit tom for something i agree with you on something that i used to fight you on very very hard back when me you and our, our buddy charlie sauer used to have our rumble you used to say that america was already a democratic socialist country mm-hmm. and i've come to the point now where i agree with you it is But it's an opt-in proposition. There's basically two Americas. If you want to engage in capitalism, if you want to start a business, if you want to work in the private sector 
and be incredibly successful. You can do that. Or if you don't want to work, there's so many subsidies right now for people that you can get your Section 8 for your housing. You can get your food stamps. You can get your welfare, and you don't have to lift a finger. And that's that's a dangerous. Question. And you and I both know that that's a the very very they, they, that's they, a very grim mansions. life. I'm talking about Mansion Quote, which you brought up initially. Yeah, you know, but Manchin, that's one of, him and Cinema. One of the few Democrats that actually still has common sense in your party. So I, I still am not hearing from you why offering two years of free community college. Or because expanding Medicare so that free. so that old There's people no can get their teeth free. fixed is going to ruin America. I know because this is a talking point that socialists like you. You're, listen, you're an American socialist. You're not even a Democrat. You've gone far beyond that. There's no whatever you want to call me. With, with yeah, that's fine. And I'm not I'm not name calling you. I'm just for, for, for you know properly identifying you for the people who are actually listening that this is not regular a uh, Democrat. You know, a standard Democrat would be along the lines of what Manchin is talking about. So they already have this in Canada, Julio. They already have this in Germany. They already have this in France. They already have this in England. Every single one of these provisions is already law in every other developed country in the world. And I don't see them going down in flames and all of their working people sitting around smoking cigarettes and drinking booze all day. Listen, you've got people pouring into the country at an unprecedented rate. Alejandro that Mayorkas has nothing to do with this. At the beginning of the year, we were going to have more border crossers this year than at any You're point. You're changing in the, last the subject. It's, no, it's, it's part of the subject because why? Why is Florida. why they is joining the rest of the to illegal immigrants? Tom, um, we can't. It's unsustainable. <laughs> How are you supposed to maintain the border? There is no immigration. I, I mean, I would like to see immigration reform in this bill. I think, you know, immigration reform, uh, you know, as like Ronald Reagan did, you know, would probably be a good thing. But it's not in this legislation. So let's not wander off into those territories. I still am not hearing oh, from you connected. why addressing climate change, why addressing cutting prescription drug prices. We pay as much as 10 times more that for I agree. prescription that drugs. I agree. I, Listen, in Europe, I've noticed that the prescription drugs are very cheap. I think that that's one of those things out of necessity that maybe that we can look at. That's the only thing. Or one of the but only I got Democrats really voting against that, saying that it's socialism. I got Kurt Schrader well, here in Democrats Oregon, a Democrat, saying. Because you know why? Because those pharmaceutical companies are the ones funding their campaigns, Tom. You have to follow the paper trail. Well, this I would very, say that same is that, that is exactly like, also the case with why why conservatives are opposing climate change provisions because they're being funded by the fossil fuel barons. Well, listen, it's a lot easier right now. Listen, last year we had, or during Trump's time, the price of uh, energy was lower. We established energy independence. We were actually a net exporter. You know, we were exporting more than we were importing. Yeah, that didn't happen during time. Trump. That happened during things. the tail end of the Bush administration. Listen, the, the, t- listen, at the end of the day, the cost of everything is affected by the cost of energy. So America, it's imperative that we're energy independent. This I'm completely agreeing with you. So let's build solar panels. Julio, listen, we've got, we've got a nuclear about- fusion reaction, a reactor 93 million miles away that pours enough energy out of this, out of this country to supply 5,000 times the amount of energy that we're using right now. Uh, or yeah, some listen, wild I don't have a problem with nuclear energy. I have no problem with nuclear energy. I'm right talking now, about the sun. A vehicle. You're not going to power a vehicle and move commerce and move products around the country and around the world on nuclear power unless you're talking about a nuclear I'm not. Boat. No, no, you misunderstood. You were, you were trying to talk over me. I said there is a nuclear reactor, a fusion reactor, 93 million miles away from us. It's called the sun that is pouring all this energy on us. And I'm agreeing with you. Let's get energy independent. Let's put solar panels on the roof of every house in America. Well, I don't know if right now financially that's feasible because of the cost of And then, listen, even building solar panels creates a huge carbon footprint. So you guys fail to point that out because, uh, again, these companies that are funding the Democrat, funding funding the progressive left, the far left radicals, they have created this climate change religion. You know, they, they, they fail to acknowledge the fact that it does create a much larger carbon footprint. You're, you're absolutely animals, right that, the, that right now the, the way the, the, the solar batteries, panels are made involves fossil apart. fuels. You're, you're absolutely right. And, and, yeah. uh, but and how, do how do we get past that? How do we get past that? The way we get past that is by building an energy infrastructure that is renewable. Oh, my God. 
But but what, what, why, what's wrong with what we were doing? This is, this is the problem. The fundamental issue that I have with the, the concept of man-made climate change is that every climate change model has been incorrect. They say it's going to get hotter. Then they say it's going to get colder. They said that Manhattan was supposed to be underwater by now. All these oh, don't even try, Julio. Don't even try climate, debating no, climate they change. Do, though. No, it, oh, don't no, even try. I've watched your little movies with Leonardo DiCaprio and all that. Yeah. Stuff, and I know that you're... Yeah, you believe in it, and you're trying to make it <laughs> but you're wrong. Uh, you're wrong. Oh, my God. DiCaprio's wrong. Everybody's wrong about it. Julio, you're, you're, you, you realize... I mean, you might you might think this is funny, you know. Let's debate politics around oh, this, but we're talking about the future of life on Earth. Yeah, and that's why the, the, the Earth has been around. There's been there's been uh, uh, volcanic eruptions that have created put more carbon into the atmosphere in an hour than we probably did in a hundred years. And the Earth is still. It was here. called the Permian the mass extinction. It, it killed ninety-seven percent of all life on the planet. That was two hundred fifty million years ago. And yes, it was it was caused by volcanic activity in in Siberia, in fact. Uh, but it killed general, every that, animal that cloud, larger than a dog. That big cloud of ash over Europe uh, several years ago, when when they 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 raided uh, whatever the tonnage of carbon emission from. Yeah. The, um, the so your objection to the climate change stuff in the Build Back Better Act is is because you just you're believing the fossil fuel billionaires and the and the lies and no, disinformation from the, the fossil, fossil fuel industry. But I also believe that when we're in the economic dire straits that we're in right now, you don't break something that isn't broken to try to fix something that isn't broken. Rather, you know why why do that right now? Because it is the broken. Cost of energy because all the cars. It's not like everybody's got an electric car. It's not like the trucks that are moving products and moving food and moving all the necessary uh, things that we need in this earth. They're not they're not electric power. Okay. So we need to try to find a way to move this stuff around the country and around the world as cheap as possible to offset the massive inflation that we're seeing globally. <laughs> all right. And I like electricity. <laughs> Julio <laughs> Rivera, ReactionaryTimes.com. Oh, yeah, it's Julio on Twitter. Julio, thanks a lot for dropping by. Thank you, Tom. I'll talk to you.